In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We begin today the ordinary time. As we begin the ordinary time, Jesus begins his ministry. So he ventures into the mission that God has entrusted to him. So as we begin this ordinary time, let our enthusiasm continue from the Christmas time so that we may experience also nearness of Jesus in all our ups and downs of life, every day of our life, every moment of our life. For all our failures, let us ask pardon from the Lord. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. At the various times in the past, and in various different ways, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. But in our own time, the last days, He has spoke to us through His Son, the Son that He has appointed to inherit everything and through whom He made everything there is. He is the radiant light of God's glory and a perfect copy of His nature, sustaining the universe by His powerful command. And now that He has destroyed the defilement of sin, He has gone to take His place in heaven at the right hand of the Divine Majesty. So He is now as far above the angels as the title He has inherited is higher than their own name. God has never said to any angel, You are my son. Today I have become your father. Or, I will be a father to him, and he is a son to me. Again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. All you angels worship the Lord. All you angels worship the Lord. The Lord is King. Let earth rejoice. The many coastland be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment. His throne, justice and right. All you angels worship the Lord. The skies proclaim His justice. All peoples see His glory. All you spirit worship Him. All you angels worship the Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. 
all you angels worship the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Open your hearts, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. After John had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the good news from God. The time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe in the good news. As he was walking along by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net in the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you into fishers of men. And at once they left their nets and followed him. Going on a little further, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in their boat, mending their nets. He called them at once, and leaving their father Zebedee in the boat with the men he employed, they went after him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice and our prayers may be acceptable to God the Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devo devoutly entreat, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this, eat this bread, bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles, Glorious Martyrs, Saint Francis of Assisi, Saint Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With trust and confidence, let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus himself has taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace and joy in our days, that by the help of your love and mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the, the glory, glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant us peace, joy, and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of his love. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body and upon our Jesus Christ.
With you, O Lord, is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord.